There may be bugs in some of these mugs, but there ain't no mugs on Jake. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. We had ourselves another successful Jeff Passen Day. Jake, congratulations. Thank you. Highly successful Jeff Passen Day. Uh, broke some news stories, a lot of talks about that. And your dog Maisie has some terrible farts. She's growing. She's growing. Thought yesterday, we th- last night, I was like, oh my God, it smells like poop up here. Katie's like, yeah, Maisie's been farting again. I'm like, I don't know, babe. That smells That's poop. like poop. And she's like, no, Maisie, she's just been farting. I'm telling you, she's just a fart bag. Woke up this morning, corner of, not the bedroom, but right outside the bedroom, poop. Okay. Hey. That's I, a win. I know what poop smells like. Kind no, of. Kind of not really a win. That's a Not loss. really a win. What happened in the sports world, Jake? We had some interesting news. James, in the sports, Albert Pujols, arguably the best right-handed hitter of all time. He goes to the Los Angeles Dodgers cross town from the Angels, a horrible franchise, to the Dodgers, a very well-run franchise. Ooh, how about that? Doesn't have to travel far. Our good guy Jake here had it on episode of Talking Baseball. He said, maybe I'm the- Chris Rose. I'm Trevor Plouffe. I don't know shit. Wow. If you're wondering, like, why? Why no. would the Dodgers need pools? It's actually kind of a simple formula. Pool still crushes lefties. The Dodgers kind of struggle versus lefties this year. The Dodgers as a team are hitting... I don't know. I had it. They're Man. not hitting well versus lefties. Pools crushes lefties. Max Muncy can slide over to second base, put Pools at first base versus lefties because Noisy, Lux, McKinstry haven't really been getting it done. And then you have the slowest right side of the infield in the history of baseball, but they're mashing and taking walks. Jim, this is Sandoval. When the playoffs come around, if you want to start Albert for two at-bats versus a left-hand starting pitcher and then sub him out, cool. Or he pitch hits against the lefty. That's it. This is fun. This is good. And I read that Placido Polanco is part of the. I don't. Is that the right name? It's part of the Dodgers, and he's like Paul's best friend. So if that, it is, Placido Polanco is one of the best heads ever. 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 Okay. Zach just put it up. Just as. And then he just sure put it on my. Oh! oh, that sucks for Zach. He's got to do that. Are we doing this? Or are we just going? I guess so. Well, what are you? Is it chugging race? Dugout mugs. Does Zach time us or anything? Do you want me to put a timer on? Zach's putting the timer on. Three, two, one, start. I think I beat him to the table. That was a dub. Is that sink water? That tastes awful. Yeah. Why'd you, why didn't you use the, the good water? <laughs> that, that, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dugout Mugs. Uh, code oh, dumb. Jake, next segment we do is Check called. Check the tape on that, Zach. I think I hit. Jimmy, the next segment is almost a breakdown. This is a fun one, Tim. We're leaving baseball. We're going to basketball. The Nets had a play that looks like When you and your buddies are hanging out in the pool and you say, all right, I'm going to throw it here. You're going to tip it there. You're going to tip it there. You're going to tip it there. And then we're going to slam it in. And there's some accidents made along the way. But the group of uh, of friends persevere, which makes the celebration even that much better. Right. When you do it perfect, you're like, okay, well, now we're just dude perfect and we did something that we practiced. But when there's like a slight miss. Bounces off the dog and you're like, man, does that still go? It's still good. Go, go. Yeah, yeah. So that's what happened. I think the best part, you noted this the first time you saw it. The Cavs played along. Yeah. So normally the opposing team wouldn't be involved in this at all, but they got in the mix. They started they kinda, it. Yeah, they batted lead off. The Cavs started the, we're going to bounce it around. No one actually, hot pota- we're going to hot potato this. No one grab it. And then Blake Griffin had the actual most skilled <laughs> scoop behind the back toss. That was awesome. So really cool play. That was talking Nets. Check out talking Nets. Wink. Let's go to more sports, Jake. We got a story here that is oh. rather... Interesting. Jim, this is close to home for you. A pitcher's arm was stolen. Out of his back seat of his car. What, Jimmy? Yes. Parker Hansen, college baseball player, woke up, discovered his backpack was missing. A thief walked in, stole his backpack, and had his prosthetic arm in there. He's uh, Jim Abbott. He's a pitcher. He's got one arm. Does the throwing, catching. Persevering, overcoming. I didn't realize he went to Augustana. Yeah. And you know that's... Your favorite, favorite band. band. Yes. I think I'll go to Boston. I think I'll start a new life. 
Time of sunsets. Think I'll catch a sunrise. No one knows my name. Maybe it's the opposite. Uh, yeah, so he goes to Augustana. Jim, where did they find this arm? In it, in his backpack. Oh, no. And then the thieves found it and just threw it in the recycling plant. So then the guy was doing a recycling plant and was like, hey, I think I found your arm. I, w- I want mic'd up conversation with the thieves when they go through the backpacks. Like, what we get, what we get. And they're like, my question was going to be fair or foul by the thieves. Because, okay, you've stolen something and you find an arm in there. Yeah. Do you go to the recycling plant? Is it? Do you just like kind of put it in a lost and found? The thieves are definitely like, duh, we didn't steal his arm. We, we didn't stole, want the arm. We stole his shit. Like, be fair to us when you're coverage. Do we want the arm? <laughs> like, no. there was a conversation. Google, like, what like would resale we do value with the arm? of a prosthetic arm. They're like, no, it's custom made. To his arm. Anyone that keeps, unless okay, so this guy keeps a prosthetic arm in his car because he needs it and he's a pitcher. But he's anyone, a couple that, of them. anyone that keeps a prosthetic in their car for no reason is kind of a weird guy. For no reason. Oh, I do. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I just realized that that's what you meant when you threw it to me. Yeah, I have a mannequin hand in my glove compartment. Have had it since high school. Cop pulled me over one time, and uh, he opened my. I opened my glove compartment, and there's a hand in there, and he like reached for his gun, and I was like, oh. Dude, that's mannequin just a hand. mannequin hand. Be cool about it. That sometimes I put it on my hand at drive throughs and hand them the credit card, and then my hand falls off. Like, get over it. I was a kid once. I had fun. Our tall friends, they liked having sex in college. One time, Jimmy went around for a weekend, and he just he went full mannequin, mannequin hand, hand. And so he'd introduce himself to girls, and they'd be like, I, I couldn't like this less. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put some in a real pit. <laughs> Because it's like, is this guy a dickhead with a fake right. mannequin hand, or is this actually, or am I the dickhead, or is this actually a prosthetic hand? And I have <laughs> is to this play. Is just it? a really small prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to play along with this? Shout out to Parker Hansen. Keep twirling it. Got his arm back. Some, uh, some great not sports today, Jake. So you know, pandemic hopefully winding down, but we've still got court Zoom calls going on. And man, uh, my guy Nathaniel Saxton is an absolute superhero. He logged in uh, to virtual traffic court, and sometimes it saves an old Zoom name or whatever it is. Uh, and my guy Nathaniel logged in as Buttfucker Three Thousand. Actually, his sister made it the name. Uh, you got to play the audio on this one, Editor Zach. Your name's not Buttfucker3000, you yo-ho. So your name isn't Buttfucker3000? <laughs> and the guy's like, <laughs> he had no idea what was going on. <laughs> so he's like, Judge, like be, be cool, oh, man. Be, what did you hear about me? Like, wh- what? It's a common parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> to not know why the judge is calling you Buttfucker3000 and just be like, wait, wh- like, what? How? And then the judge puts him in timeout. Judge calls him an idiot and yeah. a yo-yo and a bunch of names. And he comes back and he's like, "Judge, like that's our airplane name in our house. Bluetooth. Yeah. It's an inside Joe. I, I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry." And the judge just hits him with a, "Well, you should be employee, employee of, of the week. Why do you guys try to sit me here next to Britney Spears? Our employee of the week goes to." Mr. Nolan, our high school social studies teacher, taught us everything we know. We tortured him. We both emailed him because we wanted him to come on a show because almost all of our good memories in high school come from Mr. Nolan's class. And he got back to us, which makes him an employee here. And he said, uh, don't want to come on your show. No, I will Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for reaching out. <laughs> no interest. Please don't email me ever again. He didn't say that, but he said that. And, and you felt it. You felt it. You like, felt it in the email. Yeah, you guys sent me two emails after I didn't respond to the first one. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm responding to say, like, there better not be a third, and no, I don't want to come on your show. That old story is from JJR. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out. But, yeah, it was kind of like a whole, like, he could have came back with one cheeky, like, oh, yeah, I remember this day. That was pretty wild. And it was just like, no. I put you in my rear view. <laughs> yeah. Please stop emailing me. You guys ruined my life for a year. <laughs> Go back to 2004. Look at us now, Pat. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Hit him with some Jada. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weekly dumb. Support for today's program was brought to you by Dugout Mugs. They now have the Dugout Mugs Early Bird Father's Day sale happening now. First 500 orders with the code DUMB gets you 35% off all MLB Dugout Mugs. Click the link below and use code DUMB for 35% off a Dugout Mug of your choice.
Where the hell did I see this tweet? And I'm trying to find it now. Placido Blanco, hell yeah, works with the Dodgers Bang. front office, pulls best, closest friends in baseball. I nailed it. Memory of a genius.